start making predictions about how active our hurricane season is going to be, you'll hear meteorologists talk about El Nino and La Nina. But what do these two phases entail and what influences them? As we keep our eye on the tropics, meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi has the breakdown. El Nino and La Nina are two ENSO or El Nino Southern Oscillation phases that play a key role in forecasting just how active a hurricane season will be. Now they're quite complex, but let's look at what they are and how they work. We're going to start with La Nina. This is the phase we've been in for a couple of years now, which isn't completely abnormal. Think about how vast the oceans are. We're talking a global scale. So unlike that pot of water you put on your stove, it's going to take the oceans much longer to heat up and cool down. Now, now, La Nina occurs when winds in the mid latitudes called trade winds speed up. This takes that warm water warmed by the sun at the surface and pushes it away, causing for cooler water deep in the ocean to upwell, creating a cooler temperature profile off the South American coast. Now, in an effort for the Earth to maintain a balance, water in the Atlantic becomes warmer. This warmer water provides fuel for tropical systems, but not only does the water get warmer, the winds in the Atlantic, those slow down to create the perfect environment that allows hurricanes to maintain a vertically stacked structure and a healthier storm. On the other end is El Nino. This is when the trade winds weaken or slow down. This limits that upwelling of cooler water off South America, keeping the Pacific warmer. Now the Atlantic, it responds by staying more mild. The milder temperatures limit the warm water fuel for hurricanes. Now, unlike La Nina, this phase causes faster wind in the Atlantic, which creates more wind shear. This leads to a weaker storm structure and ultimately limits hurricane growth and activity, leading to a less active hurricane season. With your eye on the tropics, I'm meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi. All right, thank you, Courtney. Now, according to the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration, or NOAA, we're forecast to stay in a La Nina phase through the summer, but start to weaken by the time we head into fall.